Staffers, hope you guys are having the best day of your entire life. Uh, we are out here, me, me and old Mr. Porn Stash. We, we camped last night, if you guys weren't watching the last video. Shame on you for not watching. No, I'm just kidding. It probably wouldn't be very good anyways. And so we are out at uh, a lake right here. It's crystal clear. Small jaws, large jaws, northern jaws, wall jaws, perch jaws, all different types of muscalung jaws. There's lots of jaws in this lake. Uh, and we're gonna go try to freaking catch them. That's about all we can do. If we catch something that's edible, we're gonna eat it up. If we catch something that's not edible, we might eat it anyways. Who knows? We might do a catch and cook. We're, we're kind of roughing it in the campground. We're gonna try to go get on some small jaws for a little bit of a topwater bite. What do you think? We're gonna do it? We're roughing it with chicken and steak. Chicken and steak. If so that's why we need to get something to catch and cook. Anyways, we're gonna get on the water. We'll see you very soon. Guys, we ran to the other side of the lake and the transducer came off, so. Good thing I keep some, some green electrical tape. I'm sure that'll hold it on there for a long time. That's never failed anyone. All right, let's fish. Here comes another one. Okay, let's get, oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I got myself a pickerel. A north head. <laughs> a little hammer handle. That's it. Catch and cook. Look at that. We're going to eat that song, babe. We're eating this guy if it's legal. It's probably not. He's small. Regulations. Here we go. Northern Pike. Length limit? None. Woo! Catch and cook. We're done! We're keeping him. Oh, that's giant. Is that a brown one? That's a brown one. First small jaw of the trip. On the board for the day, Josh pulling the old high bread jig, the Hi bread Brad. jig, high bread. That's about a nine pounder, state At record. Least. State record. All right, we're on the board. That's a good start. Got one. Got him. Another giant. That's a big one. Can you put the poles down back there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a brown fish. Don't you do it. Don't go in the hole. Well, guys, not a big. But uh, hey, the old sneaky secret tube. Ah, oh, we should have kept him. Small mouth catch and cook. We're fishing a windy main lake point. So I haven't been talking much. It's kind of hard to hear anything anyone's saying. I don't know if you noticed that. You probably do if you're listening to me talk right now. Kind of found a little group of fish here last night and it's kind of weird. They were all large mouth and now we've got two small mouth and getting a bunch of bites. I'm gonna probably move out deeper off this point, see if we can find a big one. Mr. Smallhead. What the heck? We got schools of smallmouth here now. Huh. I should reel that fish in that's on right now. A little better one. A little bit. All right, we're improving in size. We're moving deeper. Got the magic tube rolling. And pa pow. Not a bad one couple pounder basically what we're doing out here guys is we got this big point which you can't see the points over there so we got the point that comes out there's grass on top of it there's some rock piles off the side of it and we're just dragging Josh is dragging a, a six cents hybrid jig he's getting a ton of bites back there I'm dragging a stupid stupid tube this isn't a stupid tube it's a magic tube that's about it not rocket science here you guys got clean water you got rock and grass throw yourself a stupid tube and a natural little yiggy. There we go. I found one. Oh, little small jaw action. Doesn't have a very big jaw on him, but he's got a big old heart. These are good eater size. Yeah. Keep him? Nah. Right. See, look at this. Those are zebra mussels. Yeah. They're fucking sharp though. Yep. That grass looks delicious. Zebra moosels. Well, if we don't catch anything, we can make salad. That's true. You know what they say? Find the zebra mussels, find the bass. It rhymes. There's a good ring to it. Oh, God. Oh! oh! Got one! Dude, we can keep those here. Let's, Let's get them! Ah! Yes! Ah! Never give up! Look what we got here. There's a snake in the boat. We got dinner. Dinner of champions. That's oh, yeah. what they say about pikes. Snakes of champions. Get out of there, you little snake bud. 
Snake bot. All right, let's do. Let's keep him. We're gonna fly that guy up. Got him. I got one on, Josh. It's, it's on my lure. Sucked in my cricket. What do we got here? Oh, a walleye! Yes! Oh my God. We've caught smallmouth, pike, walleye. Dude. He's going in the box. He's going in the box. Dude, that's like, that is money eating size. Man, that's a beaut. That's a just a gorgeous fish. Let's throw him in the live well so he gets stupid and ugly looking. Dude. Woohoo! Yes! Is it big? Yeah. A pike! Oh god, dude, that's like a better one for sure. Of course you get the better pike on a freaking spinning rod and a little crankbait. Alright, that's a master angler. Yeah, bud. We eating him? That's it, might as well. Dude, line him up. We can always take it home too. We got Ziplocs. Yeah. Yes! Limit three for person. Limit three for person? I think a lot of people would be very happy about you removing those from the lake too, so. Yeah. Well guys, we just fished for about three hours or so. I'm glad we're getting out the water right now though because the wind's picking up as you guys can see behind me. We're in a calm little bay right here, but it was nasty out on the water. But the good news is we got a couple fish. I flipped up a northern pike. Uh, Josh caught two northern pike and I caught a walleye out dragon that we're gonna actually go clean up right now and cook. And we also caught some smallmouth, flipped up a couple largemouth. I mean, we caught them pretty good this morning. Uh, no real big ones of any species, but we're gonna go do something that I've wanted to do for a long time. We're gonna taste test if walleye or northern pike are better, which is awesome because I haven't caught and eaten a northern pike in freaking a long time, probably since I was a kid. So let's go get those filleted up. Um, obviously walleye is like a, a delicacy, a fish that so many people target so they can eat them, get their limit or whatever. And we're catching them in crystal clear water. So I can't remember, honestly, I can't remember what a pike tastes like, but walleye and pike are both in the same family group. But I wanna see which one tastes better. I wanna see which one I prefer, what the different qualities are. Regardless, we're gonna fry them up. They're gonna be freaking delicious, I got a feeling. Mmm, delicious. Delicious wall heads and pikes. Don't and forget our little bud. Josh, he's <laughs> yeah. gonna fly up a yellow bass. <laughs> We're doing it! We played fish in like a couple months. Yeah. You bet. You bet, bud. And you take the meat away from the Y bone. <laughs> not yet, not yet. We're oh, yeah, this is the walleye. Boom. right over him. A little, a couple I think that little. must be what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You doing it? Mm-hmm. We gotta angle them. Because they go that way towards the top. Proper lava removal! Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe? Hundred percent probably maybe. Question is, which is better? It's what do you think? Carp's the best? I'd say the yellow bass will be the best, but these might be okay. <laughs> yeah. I've heard walleyes are decent For real. once. That was pretty badass. We got our uh, our fillets all done from that one walleye and that one pike. Josh is filleting up his Mr. Pike over here. I suppose we'll come take a look at it. He's actually using a different method. You'll have to go watch the video on his channel for how he's doing it. Look at that, five fillets on one fish. If you want to learn how to butcher a pike, Butchering pikes. You're gonna have to check it out. So next step is to go to somewhere to cook these. Um, we're gonna go back to a different campsite, I think, because it's closer to the boat ramp we're using later on, and we're gonna throw them in some, some grease. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use the typical, my favorite way is to fry up fish. We're gonna use that method to cook the pike and the walleye. And then we're gonna test and see which one is better. I'm pretty jacked about this, because I, I don't, I mean, wherever I go with pike, you catch a bunch of this size. These are not giant pike, and we're getting really good sized fillets off them. So if they're they're edible, they're tasty, this is gonna be something we're gonna wanna do in the future. We're out in the wilderness. There's not like a cemetery over there and a couple houses that way. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> we're lost. Stirring some eggs. Ooh, bad, that's good. I didn't do, I didn't throw that. I'll pick it up. <laughs> so we decided to, uh, we're gonna cut our fish up into little chunks like this, kind of just have little fish nuggets they look freaking delicious got the the northerns done and so i'm gonna do the northerns first and then the walleye because obviously if they're cutting the nuggets we're not gonna tell which fish is which and i want to see which one's better i want to see which one i like more 
So got these guys chopped up first. We're gonna cook up the northerns first. Um, then right after that, we're gonna throw the uh, the walleye and the hot grease. But we, we got some some egg batter mixed up there, so we're gonna toss them in there, and then we're gonna toss them into some uh, where is that fish fry seasoning? Louisiana crispy fish fries. Louisiana. Right into the hot oil, which is boom. Right yonder. Wait, I'm jacked. How they looking? Dude, crispy, golden brown, north headed pike. I I, that's what you're going I, dude, I haven't eaten these since I was like literally probably 10 years old. I'm jacked. And we got hot sauce, which is key. Hot sauce is definitely key. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat one, I think, once it cools down, but then I'm gonna save the rest so I can compare it to the Walter. Yeah. The Same Walter. Time. You bet. All right, in with the Walter head fillets, chunks, nuggets. Walter nuggets. I've heard wall heads are good to eat. I don't know. Sounds like a myth. That's a joke. I've had plenty of wall heads. And you guys always tell me, why are you throwing back the walleyes and saying bad words about them when you're fishing tournaments? Well, when I'm fishing tournament, I'm trying to catch bass. But today, we get revenge and we eat the wall head. North Head Pike. First one you've ever had. It actually ain't bad. Pretty good. I'm not even kidding. I mean, Pike. Northern pike are part of the pike family, like a walleye. Yeah, and I would tell you if I thought it sucked. I don't believe that. Pretty damn good. All right, so the pike is delicious. It is definitely, it tastes a little bit different than the than I think the walleye will, but there's the wall heads. We're gonna try them side by side. Wall heads. Wall heads. Little black chunks, but that's all right. No, we're good. I don't think it's dirt. Either. We're not gonna eat the black chunks. Where are we? All right, the wall heads are officially done. Should we try one before we try the pike wall head combination? And we got to do a pre hot sauce. Pre hot sauce. And then when we actually eat post the hot sauce. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. We have all sorts of comparison methods here. Walter going down. delicious wall heads are indeed really good all right so here we go taste test they look the same they basically are but they're a little different they, and I noticed a definite difference in taste but I want to taste them side by side let's do it northern and I don't think we're really expecting the northern to taste better but wall. does it taste just as good it's different I think that's the question okay northern definitely different it's good though I'm not gonna lie the walleye are such like a, a tasty white fish that of course everyone likes but the little bit extra flavor from the northern is almost better it actually tastes like, like fish it does the walleye just tastes like walleye kind of just tastes like fl white mush. flaky white meat which is kind of to be expected but hmm. I like it I'm giving it to the northern both are definitely winners but the thing is like walleye are known so much as like a delicacy and, and so many people target them but northerns are not they're they're obviously a trophy fish for people to go out and try to get really big ones and stuff and people do eat them of course but definitely not as popular to eat as the the walleye well guys just finished up our meal we're kind of uh, scrambling because we don't like to sit around here during daylight when we're out fishing we need to get to the water go film some other videos but that was super surprising everyone knows the walleye is such an amazing fish and we felt like we did it super unbiased. We caught them in almost the exact same spot. We caught, they were almost the exact same size. It's not like one was giant fish or trophy fish because you know, big fish do get softer. And uh, yeah, we, we both preferred the pike. Super surprising result of that. And we'll have to uh, keep some Northern Pike because a lot of people think of them as like trash fish a lot of times, uh, almost like a drum or a carp or something like that for a lot of people. But maybe we need to try some drum and some carp. Maybe those are delicious too. You guys keep telling me they're freaking good anyways. Let me know if you want to see that in the future. Let me know what you thought of this. If you've ever had pike, if you prefer pike over walleye or walleye over pike, whatever, let us know though. Go subscribe to this guy's channel. Uh, we got more content coming in the next couple days. We're going to go back on the water though. I'll catch you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine. I can't Stop with the love like mine I can't stop
love, the love like mine.